Nando. So basically, a quick history, a background of myself. I am a culinary graduate. I am um, I am a pastry shop owner online. So I've been doing my business using fondant mostly um, for customized cakes for like three years now. Um, so today I'd be doing a review of different com um, products of fondant, different uh, brands uh, that I, I think would be helpful for those who are starting their new businesses, for big shop, for enthusiasts, you know, who likes to bake but don't know which brand actually fits their budget, um, their liking, and of course the taste. So basically, I'm gonna review today four brands. No, actually, the other one is my own recipe and I'm going to compare my own uh, version of fondant uh, with the following. So I'm gonna grade them basically first with the price. I don't know if you could read them because it's mirrored. Anyway, taste is the second one. Maximum usage, readiness, and quality. So I'm gonna grade them 10 is the highest and one is the lowest. So let's start. Quick disclaimer, this video is, is of course uh, based on my experience with this brand. So if you have the same experiences, uh, please comment down below. If not, it is not. So, bahala mo yung mag-react or mag-comment that, uh, that they experience otherwise. So, if you experience otherwise, um, also let me know. Now, first on our list is Fonda Frost. Okay, Fonda Frost. Now, we're going to read, uh, read this one first based on price. Okay, price this is sold for 310 pesos uh, on my supplier. So yeah, it's actually the most expensive uh, from that that I purchased over the three years of my experience. So this one. So I'm going to grade this out of 10. I think because it's not, I don't recommend using this one if you're starting your business because it's really gonna, wala, luge, disco. And then if you're starting pa, diba, you know the customers would make discount, disco. Wala ka nang kikitain. So for 310 pesos, like, is it worth it? I think not. If you're starting a business, palang. So, 1 out of 10, I'm going to say it's a 6 for me. Kasi I don't recommend, of course, for starting or for beginners. Especially, hindi, kung hindi ka pa marunong gumamay ng fondant. Okay, the um, second one is taste. Ito naman, even though mahal siya, masarap siya talaga. Ito lang masabi ko. Masarap siya. Hindi siya actually ganun katamis. Tama lang. Parang ano siya, I don't know, parang ako lang ba? Or parang may gummy taste siya. Okay? So kung taste, I'm going to grade it 9. Hmm, safe tayo. And <laughs> for maximum usage, I'm going to, meaning maximum usage, <coughs> kung nakakarami ka ba sa fondant na to? Kasi yung ibang fondant is actually not pliable enough. For this one, uh, you need to adjust kasi. Kailangan, like for me in my situation, hindi siya ready-made kasi, like, alam ko, ready-made siya. But, in, kailangan mo pa siya i-adjust. In my situation, kailangan ko pa siya dagdag ng powder sugar para mas ano, which is good in a way kasi mas nakakarami naman ako. So, maximum usage, talagang gamit na gamit siya. So, again, I'm gonna give it a 9. Tapos, um, readiness. Again, yung sinabi ko, this one, hindi siya readiness. I mean, readiness. <laughs> hindi siya ready that much. Uh, you need to adjust it. So, kailangan madagdagan ng powder sugar. Kaya, uh, I don't also recommend it for beginners kasi baka magulat sila yung cake na binabalot nila nagbe-break or masyadong madaling mabutas kasi it's so pliable parang hindi ko alam nagbabasa ba sila nandito ba? Uh, wala naman kasi instruction actually dito that you need to adjust or something like that but of course for me in my situation kailangan ko siya i-adjust hindi, hindi ko siya nagagamit agad-agad masyado siyang malambot 
anyway for readiness i'm going to give it hmm, seven siguro quality ito naman talaga kaya naman talaga mahal din siya kasi quality wines okay siya tsaka kahit sabihin mo yun nga mahal siya for ano mahal siya pero nakakadami ka din naman so parang worth it lang din yung pera mo but again i don't recommend this for beginners kasi medyo kailangan mo mag-adjust adjust dito so kung talagang laro laro rin, or first time mo mag-bake tapos may nag birthday na natripan mo lang gumawa ng cake i don't recommend this one okay now the next one to review is Peyotra Hofendant. So, a quick story. Uh, I got this one uh, during the competition. They gave this to us, a couple of their products also, like good coloring, all those stuff, for free, because I've joined their competition, which is like cake decorating competition on 2018. Unfortunately, we didn't won, but it was a really a great experience. I met, um, Sorry, my bad. <laughs> so I've met wonderful chefs over there, very ta talented individuals. So yeah, even though hindi kami nanalo, it's really a good experience. And also, it's good talaga if you really ser you are serious in this um, passion of yours in baking. You need to know kung sino yung magagaling. And sabi nga ni, nila, diba, if you are the best in your group, you are in the wrong group. Because you need to surround uh, yourself with people who are better than you. And that time, I was really surrounded by really good people, very talented individuals. So yeah, it was a good um, experience. Anyway, back on the review. For this one, this is sold, of course, for price of ulit tayo. This one is sold 270 in my supplier. So price-wise, very good. Nasa mga 8 siguro ibibigay ko. Kasi affordable siya. Okay. Uh, tapos, taste-wise, ito yung... Um, feeling ko si this one is a new product pa lang. So I think, ano ba yun? Hindi pa siya ganun ka-perfect, I think. I'm not sure na, pero kung new ba sa new ba siya pero hindi ko kasi siya nakikita before like 2017 2018 ko pa lang siya nakikita taste wise i'm going to give it a 7 kasi ayun tama lang i mean like hindi siya panget i mean it's basic you know maximum usage now for this one maximum usage i had um problem with this one kasi the first and the second time that I used this one like we break ito ah, without adjusting anything tapos ayun nag we break siya and that's why I needed to adjust it even though I've adjusted it na medyo nag we break pa rin which is like I'm those I'm disappointed bakit ganun siguro kasi bagong product I'm not sure I thought actually good siya and to compare, I think, with the same price, kasi DLA, I don't know if you're familiar, I'm going to review it next. DLA, same price lang siya. Akal, I thought the same consistency, but actually hindi. Um, maximum usage, I'm going to give it a 6. For readiness, I'm going to give it um 8 naman. Kasi, actually, oh nga, no. Inadjust ko pala siya. So, I think I'm going to give it, ah, uh, huwag na lang pala 8. Mga 7 siguro. Quality wise, overall, 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 um, uh, major disappointing kasi hindi siya dito ako nagko problem eh. Kasi every time na boom, may video ako ng fondant, I'm expecting to be ready kasi nga ready made fondant. So I don't need to adjust anything. If, if I'm going to adjust it for the better, makarami ako, like for example, the Ford Frost. But for this one, New past experiences ko with this one, kaya medyo na phobia ako. Kaya kung nakikita nyo, medyo madumi na. <laughs> hindi pa siya open, hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. Kasi medyo phobia ako gamit, na phobia ako gamitin siya. Kasi nga, nag-vibrate siya. So, ayun, I'm going to give it for the quality uh, 7. Okay? Next is DLA. DLA, um, for the price, I would give it um, an 8 as well. Kasi kasi yung price lang naman siya ni Pio Traco. Um, 270 pesos in my suppliers. Uh, actually, you could purchase this this one 
may malaking version. Parang 5 kilos ata, I think. I don't know if it's cheaper. So, ayun. At least may available na bigger size. Uh, for taste-wise, I'm also gonna give it the same with um, Piotraco 7. Kasi basic yung taste niya. I mean, it's not too sweet. Tama lang. It, the, the taste is basic. Parang there's nothing special about it. Uh, maximum usage. Now, unlike the uh, Piotraco pala, Unlike Piotraco, this one, I have no problem ever since um, using this one. Ito yung pinakamarami kong nabili as in. Ang dami kong ganito. So, meron ito. This one is black. Meron ako white. Yun lang naman pinapurchase ko yung black-white kasi kapag ibang colors na parang mas mahal and I have food coloring naman. So, this one, uh, maximum usage. Gamit na gamit ko talaga siya. So, I'm going to give it a 9. Readiness, again, I have no problem. Kaya ito talaga. Ever since ang binibili ko talaga, um, uh, DLA uh, kasi ready uh, wala ka ng problema as in pag ano mo i um, i roll o i roll mo lang siya tapos i need mo ng onte and then you're ready to use, ready to use na siya wala nang pro problema so i'm also going going to going to give it a 9 quality wise again wala akong problema sa kanya yung ito yung pinakamarami kong nabili um, for the past 3 years until I've discovered uh, making my own funda. So, I'm going to give it a 9. Last but not the least, homemade. This is my ver own version of funda. This is my recipe. So, price-wise, magugulap kayo. Because this one, I'm um, for a whole batch, my gastos, my gastos, my expense was only 250 pesos and, and I've made three of this. Hindi ko alam kung gano'ng katubigat to. Itimbahin ko lang. Three hours later. This one is a 1.5 kilo of fondant. So times 3, do the math. Uh, 3, 450. No, 4.5 kilos of this one. So, imagine. Let's get a calculator. Imagine, guys. 55 pesos. Diba? Ang mura. As in, ito yung nagsalba ng business ko. Um, napansin kasi with online business, ito, tip pa. Um, if you're doing homemade, uh, customized talaga. Customized cakes is the way to go. Because my plan for my business at start is hindi talaga customized. But to be a supplier for like, um, uh, coffee shops, ganon. Pero kasi, I've nagganon din ako, pero I had problems with that sa ganong part. With customized cakes kasi, mas good kasi mas malaki ang patong mo, mas malaki kikitain mo. And of course, ang basihan competition kasi dyan is skills. And not everyone has the skills to make good cakes. Kaya yun yung labanan. So, you can actually really excel in making customized cakes. And basta, you're good at it and the quality yung mga gawa mo. Now, with this one, homemade price. Again, imagine, tama, di ko alam computation ko. Basta alam ko, mas mura. Mas mura siya talaga. Kasi, imagine, I've, I've been spending 270 pesos for like for the first two years. And then, I've recently discovered this one. Um, this recipe is mine. I've... Um, been using this for actually more than a year now and I have no problem with this one. Mura siya, good siya for business kasi ito nga yun eh, ang weird nga eh. Kasi when I was starting, kwento time, uh, when I was starting in the business of making cakes, I've, kasi hindi ako marunong gumawa ng fondant. So bumibili ako and yet my pricing is very low. So talagang lugi or break even at first. Sabi ko hindi pwede ganito. So I I did my research. I made my own recipe of fondant and I'm glad I made that decision, you know, to do homemade kasi it really changed. Just imagine yung price ceiling ko ngayon because you know, it's matagal na. Hindi naman matagal, pero kumbaga I have um returning customers and um I've made a couple of cakes na, you know, that kumbaga get pa ba established in a somehow even though like three years pa lang naman. Pero kumbaga, they have reference of my work. You can see them at my, okay, shameless vlogging. You can like my page at goodbakerph. Ayun lang, you can 
you can see my creations there. You know, first it was not perfect, and then later on, my job pa better na pa better. So ayun price. I'm going to give it a ten. Why not? Eto yung nagpayaman, nagpayaman. Kung bago ito talaga dito ako tumubo. Kasi, di ba? What's the point of doing business? Kung hindi ka kumikita. Number two, taste. Because gawa ko siya, controlled ko yung lasa niya. And because it's my recipe, I made it sure na hindi siya ganun katamis. And masarap talaga siya. So, again, I'm going to give it a 10. 10, daya. Ang portit gawa ko. Anyway, maximum usage. Of course, because of this one, this recipe, I have no problem na mag-break. May problem lang ako pag nag-break siya. Kasi... Hindi ako prepare ahead. And this recipe kasi, kailangan mo siya i-rest for at least a day. Na, ayun, para hindi siya mag-break. But the good thing of, uh, with this naman is, kaya ko siyang diskartehan. Kasi nga, good sa gawa ko siya. So I know the ingredients. So I can adjust. So, it's at 10. Readiness, again. Actually, pwede mo pa nga laruan yung recipe. That's why, if you want it, ready na paggamit mo or you want it na parang hininid mo siya after para makarami ka, pwede din. So, at least you have options. Napaka-flexible niya kasi talaga. Gawa mo siya eh. It's ready. So, I'm going to give it a 10. Quality, I've been using this for a year, more than a year now. And, natutuwa lang ako kasi hindi siya agad-agad nagda-dry. Tapos, nagagam nakakadami ako kasi mura siya. Tapos, Ano pa ba? Kasi napaka flexible niya. Like, mailan-ilan lang ang gumagamit ako ng um, pastillage or ano ba tawag doon? Gum paste. Mailan lang ng time gum paste because this version, this fondant, actually I could do mold um, sculptures, um, toppers with this one. So makikita nyo, like I made elephants with the yung video before this, using only fondant, it's not even gum paste. Napaka flexible nito, so I'm really giving this a 10. Okay. Okay. So balik tayo sa scoreboard natin. Now for the final score for Fonda Frost, my final score for this one is ay hindi pala to. 8 out of 10. For Piotra ko, it's 7 out of 10. And for DLA, 8.4. And of course, for my own recipe, of course, it's a 10. Because I love this. I love this. Okay? So, if you don't know, you don't have your own recipe yet, um, and you, you know, minsan nang din naman gumagawa, why not buy? I strongly recommend this one. DLA. Okay? Mura siya. Maasahan. Yes. So, but if you could do your own version of fondant, uh, make your own. Because like this one for this version, sobrang dali lang niya gawin and ilang cakes na magagawa ko nito. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video and um, if you have anything or any uh, products pa that you want me to review, please do so and. Yeah, subscribe to my channel and watch out for my next video. I'll be posting. Uh, I I'll try posting once a month. What's up, man? Sige, I'll try. I don't know. I don't make promises, but yes, I'm. I'll try to make the next video the soonest. So, bye. Have a sweet life.